morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog i hope you are doing well i apologize now for there being no videos last week had a bit of a nightmare with cameras my vlogging camera broke and then i tried to film in some content on my other camera and it was so sharp and saturated i was just looking at my skin and it just wasn't wasn't very complimenting so that was scrapped but i think i'm gonna do it again because i did really enjoy it i did a what i eat in a day so i think i will do that again because i found it quite fun to film and it's something that you guys have been requesting so i thought i'd do that what i'm actually going to do now is leave in some clips from last week's meant to be vlog basically my vlogging camera broke the quality of the the recordings were absolutely fine it was just the audio broke the microphone had something it sounded like you're underwater so what I'm going to do is put in some clips because it was a really lovely week and I filmed quite a lot. I went to Cirque du Soleil with Sarah and I hosted a little dinner party. So I'll leave those bits in now. starting this weekly vlog actually on a Thursday. I cannot believe how quick and scarily fast this week has gone. But today I am doing a shoot day with my friend Chloe, um, meeting up with Laurie later to go and view a property. And yeah, I've got some fun, really lovely things going on this weekend. So I thought I would start the vlog now. But first of all, I received a few lovely flowers. And this one is from Loz because I've been feeling really low at the moment. I'm going to, I think I'm going to unbox them and just make them look a bit more presentable because because as you can see I've kept them in their packaging but they need to be opened up and um, yeah we have someone coming over tomorrow to take pictures of the house. How beautiful are these flowers they're so wild and just they're so spring like it's just so beautiful they're actually from a company called berkson flowers in clapham and they are a really beautiful florist company so yeah absolutely gorgeous so this is what they look like so beautiful the vase is from m mh no uh h k living i think and then these are from the country edit one of my friends friends got this really cute a material shop and yeah absolutely stunning they smell Wonderful. Yum. With Chloe. Hello. <laughs> so we're in the Chilton Firehouse. Um, don't know if you can film here or not. I've got like a little lump in my head growing as well. I'm just having some coffees, did a shoot. It is freezing. So I was 
we've just nipped into Dalesford and I was in here the other day in the like South Ken one and it is stunning. The South Ken one I think has more interiors but just has such beautiful stuff and also so it's not actually that bad but can we just the vino is stunning <laughs> just showing the magnum vino <laughs> oh no sis <laughs> hello guys so i'm now with lorenzo Hola. so i had a really nice shoot day with chloe and then we went to chilton firehouse i didn't vlog much because i feel like everyone was really judgy in there it's really lovely in there and i would really recommend it um it's quite like on the higher price range um of like the prices of like the drinks and the food um so even if you just go for breakfast or a glass of vino before your dinner date then i would really recommend it it's so lovely currently in notting hill now laurie and i just went and viewed an apartment down down or up up Oh. at Westbourne Green area which both of us have like never really explored so it was really good to go and see that and we really liked Warwick Avenue area that was like really pretty um the apartment was nice but not really what we wanted to go for but we still were like quite keen to go and look at it because it was a little bit smaller wasn't it yeah it was a little bit smaller than like the other ones we've seen um and a bit higher price but it's because it was like quite close to Notting Hill um but we're glad we like looked at the area and got a vibe for the place Warwick Avenue is nice. Warwick Avenue was really nice. So that's like a place that we're open to like look at. Now we're in Notting Hill and we're trying a place called Uli, which is a Thai place and it's so cute and it's a place that I've always wanted to go to, not realising it was Thai. It's like at, like when you come out of like Notting Hill game, they're like if you go around the corner there's these two really pretty restaurants. Hang on. Um, yeah, so like there's two really pretty restaurants around the corner from Notting Hill Gate and I've always wanted to go to them and funny enough this Thai place is in one of them and it's really lovely. The staff are so nice and really cute. Um, so I'll give you a little clip, quick clips around. Um, but we've just ordered our food and it's really lovely. Nice to try somewhere different and nice that it was randomly in a place that I've really been like desperate to try. So we've got some dinner, I've just ordered a mint tea, Loz has ordered a beer, and yeah, excited. So cute. So we went for some vegetable lettuce wraps, which looks tofu. really good with tofu. Yum! Look, you can see the things going up a bit. So Loz went for the oolai yeah, yeah, no, Thai just, curry. Just I went for the vegan, but yummy. A parcel from Pretty Lavish with two really gorgeous knit sets so I thought I would do a little unboxing and try it on with you so the first set is a cream set they did it in a taupe and also a black um, but the taupe one was out of stock because it was very popular and high in demand so first up is the cardigan and I got it in a small it's just like a really nice material I'll try it on in a minute and what I like about it is it's quite long length as well so you can wear it on its own or paired with or paired with the matching joggers and I got these in a extra small and again yeah they're really nice like a tight knit it's really nice and um snuggly and it's got a flare at the bottom so I give that a go and then I got this matching set which is the the bliff cut out knit pop and skirt so i thought this would be a really nice like evening outfit it's long sleeve really nice kind of style to the neckline as you can see like here it has these flare sleeves and is a little bit tight but not too much and you pair it with this and i thought this would either look really nice with some heeled long boots or just chunky boots i thought that could be a quite nice evening outfit so it comes with this maxi skirt with a slit at the bottom. Okay, so this is the knitted jumper and top, and I stand corrected, I just don't feel comfortable at all in this. It's just, to be fair, it was kind of out of my comfort zone to order this, but yeah, it just doesn't, I don't think it suits me. Cute though, I, I like the idea of it, but I don't like bodycon stuff anyway, because I'm very cautious about my belly. So yeah, I don't know, but I love the top. I think the top's actually really lovely with either a pair of shorts or some flared trousers, so I might give that a go. Okay, I quite like this. This is a bit more of my style. I think the top's just really nice, like if you do want a casual outfit, 
this is quite a nice like smart knit i think it just like brings the outfit together a pair of jeans or a nice little black skirt with some tights that would look also really cute i do like this top i think it's really flattering so yeah i'm really happy with this but i just don't think the skirt suits my body shape if that makes sense um but yeah this is a very cute top however this is very cute i might actually order it in the black as well it's so lovely so like i said i got this in a small and i think it's a good size and these in an extra small which i thought would be a bit too tight around my waist but actually they're really comfortable what a lovely like loungewear outfit and then also this would look really nice with some converses and a coat really nice size as well you can see it just hits the ground so if i had shoes on it gives it a little bit more of a platform um, and the material is really lovely and cosy as well so really happy with that so thank you very much to Pretty Lavish for gifting me these really cute items I think I'm going to return the skirt though because I don't think it really suits my style my body um, yeah love this definitely going to wear this Friday night mm -hmm. hello guys so probably can't see my outfit but Loz and I are off for a show which is really nice we're gonna go and see Book of Mormons I'm wearing leather trousers my River Island boots it's like kind of like transparent kind of like um what's it called like a mesh blouse my caramelin faux fur gilet which I just love and then over the top my green mango coat and yeah this is my outfit for today i'm not feeling great i'm not going to lie so i'm not feeling my makeup not feeling my hair but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and just hope for the best but yeah we're gonna go to book a moment and then we've got a dinner after at a place called hotel henrietta they've kindly invited us which is so lovely um but first we need to get the bus and then we're gonna go and pick out laurie's mum's birthday present protest going up but we're gonna run to show now not for me <laughs> um for, me. For, for loss we're gonna go get his mum some like presents which we were a bit stuck because obviously it's just been christmas so she's quite a tricky one to get presents for but i came up with an idea and actually a few of you actually messaged me recently which was really random about what to get a partner's mum's uh, present for her 60th so if you're watching this this is what we're doing so Loz got her some slippers and we're also going to go to Chanel Beauty because she's not massively into makeup but she's into like really nice like minimal makeup and also as well I feel like Chanel's a very special brand and I feel like she'll really appreciate something from there so we're going to get her a bold lip because she does like to put a little bit of like bold pink on if she's going to put a bit of makeup on she's going to do a bold lip and also as well some nail varnish because she I does I've noticed she does like to paint her nails so it'd be quite nice to get some like Chanel bits and bobs. Um also gonna ask like an assistant what she would recommend as well. Um but yeah, so I feel like that was quite a good idea. So we're on the way to do that now. We're kind of short for time, but hopefully we'll get it done. And then we'll go to the show and then have some drinks and nibbles because I haven't had any lunch and I'm starving. I've literally just had a smoothie. Um, yeah, cute little date day, isn't it? It is, anyway. Little cuties. In the middle of the show, but got some sugar sins before we got here and they're delicious i've been going very hard at them <laughs> they'll be getting gluten free no are you enjoying it it's getting had drunk on the sidelines of us had some champers it's been really good it's been very cute it's a funny it's a funny theater show if you do want to come see it they're like it's do you know what it reminds me of the mixture of wait sorry who's the writer who done this South Park writer, isn't it? South Park writer. But also reminds me very much of like Disney com like comedian as well. Not like there. the main guy, the main like uh, the main guy, not the main guy who wants to go to Orlando, but the other guy. Yeah, okay. He reminds me of Olaf. 
from Frozen. Yeah. Like, it's that kind of comedy, like, that's how, what he reminds me of, is like, Olaf, like, instantly, like, even the actor who is Olaf is him. It's so funny, but yeah, it's a really good film, um, like, show, so I really recommend it. Um, it's cute, it's good, they're really, really good at singing, aren't they? Yeah, indeed. for dinner. <laughs> background it's because I'm literally going through all the episodes it is Sunday now I mean whilst you're watching this I feel like I just keep saying hello good morning how are you but I hope you're well it is Sunday now um, Laurie and I had a lovely night last night it was very spontaneous which I think is always the best so obviously went to Book of Mormons which was just hilarious I would really recommend it if you haven't seen it just to let you know it is very rude it's very dark humor but I would really recommend it I found it really funny we were a bit like did he just say that like how can he like how is he allowed to say this in front of so many people but it was a really funny show and if you are into dark humor I would really recommend it it was really it was a really good watch and if your boyfriends aren't really into theatre it's definitely one that they can get on um, on the bandwagon with it's the writer of South Park so yeah says it all really funny oh it's on my mum it was a delivery um but yeah it was really fun and it's definitely one that you can get your boyfriend on the theatre bandwagon with um it was in Leicester Square which was really lovely so then we had dinner reservations at seven and the show finished at five so we went to Sticks and Sue Oh, I just ran up the stairs. Um, we went to Six and Sushi, which was perfect. We, we had a couple of hours to spare. We were both really hungry because I didn't eat lunch. We got some sweets from Sugar Sin, which, oh my god, they were such a treat. And um, yeah, so we had some, I think I think I filmed it in this. We had some like maki, edamame, some sake, which was really lovely. And then we went for dinner and we had, we went to Henrietta Hotel which was so beautiful which I was kindly invited to go and try it out and the staff were lovely, the vibe in there is just incredible, it's literally on Covent Garden. If you're looking for somewhere to stay central in like Covent Garden area or like you want to do a date night or like a really nice treat for you and your friends to stay in like central London, I really want to stay there. It's so beautiful, it's so cool, very like, it's quite like an Amsterdam vibe, it's so so lovely so I would really recommend it. So Laurie had the arancini balls which was like truffle mushroom and cheese which he was like over the moon with and I had and then we both got pesto pasta this vegan pesto pasta and we got some cabbage and some salads to share it was really beautiful and um, yeah had some cocktails had some champagne and it was just such a lovely night and then we decided that it was one of Laurie's like housemates birthday so we decided to grab an uber to Brixton and just go and see everybody and it was so lovely to catch up with everyone. I haven't seen those lot for such a long time. And um, yeah, it was very spontaneous. Drank quite a lot, but kind of like over the, dur the duration of the day. So it wasn't too bad. All I've done recently is drink. So I'm definitely gonna try and 
slow that down. I have got my mum, as I said, coming over. I have got my mum coming over, so we're gonna go for a roast dinner at the Pig's Head, which I went to in the first Vlogmas, and it was really good, so I think we're gonna go there. Go for a walk and mooch around. But yeah, last night was incredible, and then, yeah, I've got my mum coming over, and she's staying over because tomorrow is my results day with my cancer checkup, so we love to make a day out of it. So we like have a day in South Ken, mooch around, go shopping. So yeah, we love to make like make it special and fun and like something to look forward to instead of something that we're dreading or make like it's like a nervous thing. So yeah, it'll be a lovely day. Um, but yeah, she's on her way now. I wanted to quickly show you the cocoon bag that I am currently renting because it is stunning. So this is a Dior saddle bag and it's not really my style but I thought yesterday was like the perfect vibe for it because we were having a really lovely day in Covent Garden and then going like to Brixton so like a bit more edgy so I thought this was like quite a nice like vintage style it's the Dior saddle bag in the medium size or the regular size with um, gunpowder metal details and as you can see a black and like a grey uh, fabricated bag this is beautiful you can get so much in the fabric ones with the black leather ones it's actually quite tricky to get stuff in it but this is amazing so really lovely of the cocoon team to let me borrow it for the weekend um yeah i'll leave a picture of my outfit down below it was really handy i got my camera my battery charger and everything in there which was amazing um but yeah it was really nice <laughs> With my mama. <laughs> right, clap and common, having a little coffee. Cheers. Some cabbage, cauliflower. <laughs> Happy mummy. Good morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't I didn't film anything since after the roast dinner, which was lovely by the way. Amazing. That was really good. It's the pig's head in Clapham, Old Town, if you want to look, if you want to go and try it out. It's amazing. And Happy then, to join. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then we then met up with Helen and her mum, and we had uh, three <laughs> bottles of champagne on a Sunday night. <laughs> You're fine though. Yeah, luckily today we've kind of got a day off, yeah. so um it's actually quite nice so we're actually walking to the hospital we're actually in battersea park which is just beautiful um it takes us an hour to walk there which is quite nice good walk fresh air stretch your legs so needed. um so yeah so go walk to the royal marsden go and do my little checkup and then go shopping shopping Lunch. shopping yeah want to get that new chanel man Oh yeah, <laughs> mum wants the Chanel cream bronzer, which is fabulous, so yeah. Which edit, if you follow edit, we talked about the other day, because I love those girls. take over the channel, mum? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so we'll take you along for all of that, so. We just went into Opa, um, but this is insane in here. The interiors is so cute. If you haven't been to the South Ken one, I would really recommend it. It's so lovely. It's got all the, like really good like food bits and storage bits. Um, yeah, so yeah, all clear on my cancer, which was amazing. So we're just smooching around now um, and just doing some shopping. 